Picture this, you walk into a store, you're bombarded with a mountain of products, clothes, electronics, toys, you name it, they've got it. And the craziest part? It's all unbelievably cheap. Welcome to the world of Made in China. China, the world's factory floor, churns out goods at an astonishing rate. From smartphones to sneakers, it seems like everything we own has a connection to the East, but this abundance has sparked a global debate. Some cry foul, accusing China of flooding the market and undercutting competition. Others see it as a win for consumers who benefit from lower prices and wider choices. So what's the real story behind China's overproduction? Is it a threat to the global economy or a boon for bargain hunters worldwide? Buckle up, folks, because we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Chinese manufacturing. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Hey everyone and welcome to the show where we unpack complex global issues with a healthy dose of humor and a sprinkle of sarcasm. Today we're tackling a topic that's been making headlines and sparking heated debates. China's alleged overproduction. Now before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say the dragon in the factory. China's rise as a manufacturing powerhouse has been nothing short of meteoric. They've gone from producing bicycles to building high-speed trains in the blink of an eye. And with that growth comes a whole lot of stuff. Stuff that's often cheaper and, dare I say, sometimes even better than what we're used to. Let's be honest, folks, we live in a world obsessed with stuff. We crave the latest gadgets, the trendiest clothes, and the most innovative toys. And more often than not, that stuff comes with a little tag that says made in China. But this obsession with Chinese goods has a flip side. We marvel at their efficiency while simultaneously fearing their dominance. It's like that friend who always aces every test. You're happy for them, but a tiny part of you wonders if they're secretly a robot sent from the future. So why are we so fixated on China's production prowess? Is it the sheer volume of goods they produce? The low prices that make our wallets sing? Or is it something deeper, a fear of being outpaced by a country that's rewriting the rules of the global economy? Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I? Say the yuan in the factory. China's manufacturing prowess is a topic that often comes up in discussions about global trade. One of the main reasons China can produce goods at such low prices is its significant cost advantage, which has been a game changer in the global market. Think of it like this. Imagine you're baking a cake. You need various ingredients to make it perfect. You could buy all the ingredients individually at a fancy grocery store, which would be quite expensive, or you could hit up your local discount supermarket and get everything for a fraction of the price, saving you a lot of money. China is like the discount supermarket of manufacturing, offering everything you need at a lower cost. They've got the ingredients, a massive workforce, efficient infrastructure and substantial government support, all at a lower cost than many other countries can manage. This allows them to produce goods on a massive scale and sell them at prices that make our wallets do a happy dance, making consumers around the world very happy. But is it all? Sunshine and rainbows? The reality might be more complex. Some argue that China's low prices come at a hidden cost labor exploitation, environmental damage, and unfair competition. These are serious concerns that need to be addressed. It's like that super cheap fast fashion shirt you bought. You love the price, but you can't help but wonder who made it and under what conditions. The story behind the price tag is often more complicated than it seems. The productivity paradox working hard or hardly working now. Some folks look at China's manufacturing might and assume they must be working their socks off, right? The sheer scale of production can be mind boggling. Images of endless sweatshops and tireless workers toiling away night and day might come to mind. It's easy to picture a relentless grind. But here's the thing. China's productivity story is a bit more nuanced than that. It's not just about sheer effort. It's not just about working harder. It's about working smarter. Efficiency is the name of the game. China has invested heavily in automation and technology, boosting efficiency and output. 
This technological edge is a game. Changer. Imagine a team of bakers trying to keep up with orders for their famous sourdough. The demand can be overwhelming. They could work around the clock. Or they could invest in a giant automated bread-making machine that churns out loaves at lightning speed. The choice is clear. Of course, this raises questions about the future of work. What happens to the human element? As machines become more sophisticated, will human workers become obsolete? It's a pressing concern. Or will this technological leap create new opportunities and industries we haven't even imagined yet? The potential is vast. It's a question that keeps economists and futurists up at night. And frankly, it's enough to make you want to reach for another fortune cookie. The future is uncertain, but also full of possibilities. The innovation equation copycats or trailblazers China has often been accused of being a land of copycats, churning out cheap knockoffs of Western inventions. And yeah, there's been some truth to that in the past. But hold your horses, folks, because the narrative is changing. China is no longer content with just copying. They're striving to become global innovators in their own right. Think of it like this. Remember that friend who used to borrow your homework in school? Well, now they're graduating top of their class and starting their own successful business. From artificial intelligence to renewable energy, China is pouring resources into research and development, challenging the West's technological dominance. They're not just making the phones anymore. They're creating the software, the apps and the operating systems that power our digital lives. The geopolitical chessboard, trade wars and tariffs, let's face it, folks. The world is a competitive place and every nation is trying to get ahead. And when one country starts producing a lot of stuff, particularly at lower prices, it's bound to ruffle some feathers and disrupt the status quo. Consider the trade wars and tariffs the tools of economic conflict. Think of it like a giant game of monopoly, where each country is vying for economic dominance and trying to outmaneuver the others. China, with its manufacturing prowess, has been collecting properties. And building hotels at an alarming rate, becoming a formidable player. This has made some of the other players, particularly those in the West, a little nervous, to say the least, fearing economic displacement. So what do you do when you're feeling threatened in a game of Monopoly? You strategize and take action. You slap down some tariffs, of course. These are like economic weapons in the trade war arsenal. These tariffs are like tolls that make it more expensive to import goods from China, hoping to level the playing field and protect domestic industries from being overwhelmed. But here's the catch. Tariffs often end up hurting consumers the most as prices for everyday goods rise. Remember those cheap electronics and affordable clothes we talked about earlier? They might not be so cheap anymore. Well, get ready to pay a premium, folks, because those tariffs are about to make your wallet cry and your budget might feel the pinch. The future of stuff, what happens next? So we've unpacked China's overproduction from all angles, the economics, the politics, the sheer volume of stuff. But what does the future hold? Will China continue to be the world's factory floor, churning out goods at an unprecedented rate? Here's the thing. Predicting the future is a fool's game. But one thing's for sure. China's role in the global economy is evolving. They're moving up the value chain, focusing on innovation and high-tech manufacturing. Imagine a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. That's China, shedding its image as a low-cost manufacturer and emerging as a global powerhouse in technology, innovation, and sustainable development. Let's talk about it. Your turn to weigh in. All right, folks, that's our take on China's overproduction saga. We've explored the economics, the politics, and the sheer volume of stuff that's changing the world as we know it. But this isn't a one-sided conversation. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on China's manufacturing dominance? Do you see it as a threat or an opportunity? Have you noticed the impact of tariffs on your own shopping habits? Write down to the comments section and let's keep this conversation going. Stay curious, my friends. And that's a wrap on tonight's show. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the fascinating world of Chinese manufacturing. Remember, folks, the world is a complex place and there are always multiple sides to every story. So stay curious, keep asking questions, and never stop exploring the forces that shape our world. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay awesome. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.